Well, as President-elect uh, Donald Trump announces some of his picks for his top administrative jobs, one that he's been quiet on is education secretary. That could be due to his campaign pledge to scrap the department entirely. CNN's Brian Todd looks into what that would entail and how likely it may be. On the campaign trail this year, the president-elect said he's been dying to do it. We will ultimately eliminate the federal Department of Education. Donald Trump's pledge to abolish the Department of Education, part of his push to wipe out what he's called corruption and waste in Washington. We will drain the government education swamp and stop the abuse of your taxpayer dollars to indoctrinate America's youth with all sorts of things that you don't want to have our youth hearing. Why does Trump want to get rid of the Department of Education? Analysts say part of it is the Republican philosophy of getting the federal government out of education and moving that to the states. But it also involves the culture wars. Issues involving how sex was taught, about race and ethnicity, about LGBTQ students' rights. And so what we've seen over these last few years is that a lot of adult politics have found their ways into our schools. What does the Department of Education do? One of its biggest jobs, analysts say, is funding America's students. The Department of Education exists mostly to send money back to, to schools for Pell Grants, for student loans, for impoverished elementary and secondary schools, and for special ed. The department's also tasked with investigating discrimination in schools. What if the department was wiped out? It would be catastrophic for the country because so many students depend on those resources and those protections. And it's students in poverty, it's students with disabilities, it's our whole student loan portfolio. Politics has often crept into the debate. During the first Trump administration, Education Secretary Betsy DeVos, the first cabinet secretary to survive confirmation thanks only to a vice president's tie-breaking vote, championed conservative causes like charter schools and vouchers. And today, she seemed to back gutting the agency she once led. So are you saying you don't think disbanding the DOE is the, is the priority? I, I, I do think it's a priority, but some of these more immediate things need to be done first. When DeVos led the department, Trump tried cutting its budget. In the 1980s, Ronald Reagan tried eliminating the agency. Neither plan worked. Some Republicans have resisted this and presumably will resist this again, possibly because $14 billion goes to people with disabilities, and even people on the right wing may have children and neighbors with disabilities. Experts say that federal funding was given out before a Department of Education was established. According to them, that means distributing the funding might be able to shift into other agencies.